Hey guys, happy Friday. Woo! Three day weekend for some of us. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be like Dustin. Yeah, I took off work early today. <laughs> uh, just picking on him. But the, the tanks are doing fine. I really wanted to just focus on uh, a follow up from the Plan B video. I had something happen wild this week, uh, and I just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up. The on the and it's really easier if I just show you. I've got a notebook. This is a three three ring binder. I keep all of my docs in here. So like this is the had to do a, a PDF printout for that. But like so here's like the cobalt aquatics heater. You know the other. This is the compact heater that's in the. Uh, in the Fluval spec, uh, which is doing well, but the uh, this is the type of lighting system that I have uh, LED lights too. Those Marine Land, and I'm not sure what the model number is, but there's the the specs on it. I know people are always asking, but I, I always keep and and just a heads up, the Fluval this this filter comes with this really nice glossy uh, covered and, and the reason gloss is nice is because it's kind of water resilient which you know it's a to filter for water right but the point is is it's just well made and uh, what happened so I've got uh, two of these uh, connectors on the tank and they give you three actually and the third one I actually have a, a modified hose where I actually you uh, run it to the the toilet in the half bathroom uh, about 75 feet from this tank and then uh, hook it all up open up you know close the valves take the take the outtake nozzle there off which is you can't really see it, but it's it's this one right here. Take that off. Have a big black hose that I hook in there, run it in this direction. It just kind of goes there and around the corner. There's a half bath and just run it into the toilet there. It's like 70, uh, I don't know, it's maybe a 60 foot run. Um, but here's what happened. There's two uh, O-rings right here on this post, and I was in a hurry, and you know, it, it's just kind of the law of Murphy, right? When you're in a hurry, you're not paying attention, something doesn't feel right, and if it doesn't fit, right, you just try to make it fit instead of using your brain for something besides a hat rack. But, but so what happened is, this little gasket right here, and it's, it's torn now, I was just trying to mess with it, but it... I don't know if I'm, I'm doing a good job here, but it it got um, hard to put it in better light. You can see it. I can put it on this plant. If you if you look really close, you can kind of see there's there's damage um, where it just got stretched. And what happened is I wasn't going in at a, in a, at a straight angle, and I was applying pressure. And it it stretched it. Well, the danger is is this O-ring is what allows this to work, right? Well, here's what's interesting. It was the first O-ring that tore. It will work with just a second O-ring. I've been running it that way for a few days. But the danger, and this is the heads up for you guys, always save your books. Uh, if you go in the back here, let's see, this is Italian. But in the back of this book, and I just had it, well, I said all that. Yeah, here we go. In the back, they have all the replacement parts, and they have it listed and cataloged. Uh, here's the rings. So this O-ring, which is I, I, um, there's the part number for it. So I instantly got online. I, you know, I called one of my local fish stores. They're like, you know, I've got a gasket. It may or may not work. Uh, you know, do you want to drive it here and try it? 
but but just a word of advice, I would recommend that um, there's a few things that you have uh, in backup, um, which I did not have, and uh, it's always good to have a plan B. But I went ahead and got these are so cheap. What are these off of Amazon? And that's actually the uh, the gaskets for this eight uh, twenty two one two. Uh, it's not that expensive, and I'm actually gonna break that filter down uh, over the weekend and then uh, put a new O-ring. But um, you know, this is Fluval here. The other thing that I did while I was at it. Because I've noticed how these are tending to crack over time. Uh, I just got an extra one of these. I thought, shoot, why not? While I'm ordering spare parts. I got an extra one of these just to keep around. Because, you know, when you really need that right there. Because you can't completely uh, clamp down on the top lid of the canister and it won't seal. That's going to be a showstopper. So I got that. And, uh, actually I got another one of these as well because, I ask him why, just a heads up, it's one of those things that, you know, you wish you wouldn't have done when you did it. I actually cut that so short, this pipe, that when I use this to drain, I can only go, I don't know, I, I can't go as low as I would like to, to do before it loses suction. So what I want to do is I want to lower that a little bit more so that if I ever wanted to really quickly drain this tank and do a water change pumping it out with the FX5, uh, that I can do so. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to need I'm going to need a longer that longer tube. Something else I noticed went ahead and got these while I'm at it uh, since I was having to pay for shipping. And these are what really help me with the FX5. Just try to help this clean and uh, keep it from kicking up but they changed the box it's FX5 slash 6 so little little snazzier looking box uh, same on the front and the back I guess the sides just I don't know the different languages but the uh, always keep this on file I always keep all of my instruction manuals and part ID stuff in a three ring binder. Something else I did, this was just for me. And this was starting off. I printed off, printed off like my plants. I got a lot of stuff off of Live Aquaria. So like the, uh, the lace plant, printed this off and then it just had the details on it. And you know, as I was waiting for it to ship, I just, like here you can see I got two potted. And I was just trying to rank where in the tank I was going to put everything while I was waiting on the order to show up and worked pretty well. Now I don't do that. I mean this was like starting in the beginning uh, with live plants but uh, and speaking of live plants that's a good intro. Uh, clean this plant up a little bit right here. It was just totally taking up too much space for these two. Uh, they're doing very well. This sag is kind of taken over in the front. I'm going to probably weave that down some. But the one thing I wanted to show you is the the Madagascar lace bulb that I planted probably about three weeks ago is really starting to look good. And uh, it's growing out. And I, I'm happy with the leaves off of it. So hopefully it'll continue to do well. And I'm just trying to figure out the uh, lace plant, or not the lace, but the, the moss on this stick. I'm not a big fan of that stuff, hindsight being 2020. I know a lot of people that do things with it. But what I've found is it tends to tear off, and then it tends to get into your foreground plants, like there's some of it right in here. And I'm constantly going through here and digging some of it up because it's just kind of like a kudzu or a, 
an ivy type plant. It's just very aggressive. Just gets in everything, grows on everything. Not a big fan of it. I need to do some more uh, the rotilla back there is doing pretty good. I think that's rotilla indica right in here. But that it looks like uh, bacopa. My bacopa is looking sick back there on the other side of that bosmani. Right in here you can see the leaves and that's really just a sign of uh, me getting slack. But that that's that usually is a sign of deficiency uh, in in dosing, and I haven't been doing much of it lately, honestly. Um, just been busy with other things, but I need to need to get back on it. And one of the things um, you watch, well, this is taking too long. I'm hitting the 11 minute mark. But anyway, that's really it. That's all I want to talk about today. And uh, make sure you keep a notebook or a catalog full of your heater, your lights, your bulbs. For me, with my bulbs, I actually just keep the old carton. Because what will happen is uh, when I have to dispose of those that are there, I'll just put the old bulb in here and then leave the new one out. But then I know exactly what kind of bulbs in in there. So that I write it down. It's just easier to put that there because I had room. But uh, all right, I need to wrap it up. Taking too long, but hey, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. See you later.